Hey, what's up everyone? Pase Baller here. Uh, this is now the game between Los Angeles Clippers with a record of 27 wins and 30 losses going up against Dallas Mavericks with a record of 33 and 23. Uh, this one will be played at 8.30 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time, so that will be 9.30 a.m. here in Manila. And again, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right, again, let's take a look at the uh, Western Conference standing so that we can uh, take a look at these two teams. Dallas Mavericks, they, have, uh, they are at number 5 in the West. Their last 10 games, um, they have won 7. Approaching this game, they are on a 4-game winning streak. While for Los Angeles Clippers, they are at number 8. For their last 10 games, they have only won 4 games. Approaching this game, man, they have only won... I mean, approaching this game, they are on a 3-game losing streak. Sorry about that. Now I'm getting tired. <laughs> okay. Alright, so uh, what do we have here? Um, well, just like a couple of nights uh, ago, these two teams actually uh, played... Um, and Dallas Mavericks actually defeated Los Angeles Clippers by 7, 112, 105. All right, um, and here we are now, again, in Dallas' uh, home court. Um, so they have the home court advantage. I'm talking about Dallas Mavericks. They also have the advantage in terms of momentum. Um, in terms of fatigue, well, both, play, both teams were able to uh, rest yesterday. Now let's take a look at the injury list for both teams. Uh, four players are confirmed out, Jason Priestin, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, and Jay Scrub, while Norman Powell is actually uh, listed as day-to-day -day or game-time decision. For Dallas, um, right, I see Mar Marquise Chris uh, out for this game, Tim Hardaway out for this game, and we have uh, Spencer Dinwiddie and, Dave, uh, and Davis Bertans. Um, tagged as a game time decision or day to day. So two confirmed out for Dallas, possibly four, depending on the situ the situation or the statuses of those players who came from Washington Wizards. And the spread is at, well, it opened with minus six for Dallas, and now it's at minus seven. Again, mind you, they just played a couple of nights ago, and Dallas Mavericks took care of uh, Los Angeles Clippers by seven points. And here we are now, um, Norman Powell, there's even the possibility that he won't be joining Los Angeles Clippers for this game, but it's a game time decision, all right? Now for Dallas Mavericks, there's even a possibility that they'll be joined by those players who came from Washington, I'm talking about Bertans and Dinwiddie. Now if that'll happen, that will just add up and you know stack up their, uh, their firepower, especially on offense, man. Just imagine Dallas Mavericks having Luka, and then you would sit down Luca, and you, you would put in Spencer Dinwiddie, man. Talk about points, all right? Talk about points. Talk about three-point shooting and all those shit, man. Dallas Mavericks, they just got upgraded. Um, a lot of people didn't want that trade because of uh, KP. And, yeah, they have a good point, but I think um, the, the trade is actually fair. You know, they got a big man in Davis Bertans. He can actually shoot two. Uh, just like KP, and they got Spencer Dinwiddie as well. So, yeah, I think it's more beneficial for Dallas Mavericks than the Washington Wizards, for, for real. Um, so, going back to this game, I think it would still be Dallas Mavericks winning the game, and I think it would still be Dallas Mavericks covering the spread. So, our pick will be Dallas Mavericks minus 7. Mavs minus 7. Peace out, pase love, and God bless.